Welcome guys to Forgotten City. Hope everyone is well. We are back with a brand new episode and uh, let's keep going. I appreciate the love and support. Uh, the support has dropped a little bit uh, recently for this series. It is a smaller game um, and, and, and there's a lot of dialogue. <laughs> there's a lot of stories to follow and I think, yeah, it just all tends to drop off a little bit. But I still intend on trying to finish the game, so don't worry. And I need to be Ah, oh, you, the weird witch lady at the beginning. Except Cerberus lifts his triple what? head and Can lets out his threefold braying. Oh, I think she's busy. Stop muttering like Madeira over a cauldron. You'll scare away my customers. They follow their trades, imitating their previous lives, but they are ignorant. This again. You're in a world of your own, aren't you? She looks distracted. She's busy. Just as the ocean oh, accepts the rivers of all the world. There we go. So this place accepts in all the souls. But it does not notice the crowds that come. Uh, I figured it out. I know where we are. Ooh. Say it. Speak its name. The Underworld, hence the name of the last video. <laughs> then it is true. I was right. You were right. You were right. I thought... I thought I saw it, but when the rest of them could not, I kept thinking I must have gone insane. I had to tell myself it was true over and over again, until I wasn't sure if I was deceiving myself. I, I must apologize if my words seem cryptic. I'd found comfort in reciting the Metamorphoses by our great poet Ovid. He gives such an uncanny description of this place. I cannot help but wonder if he himself came here. Would you like to hear it? Sure. Why not? I will do it. my best to remember the relevant verse. There is a downward path, gloomy with fatal yew trees. It leads through dumb silence to the infernal regions. The sluggish Styx exhales vapor, and by that way, the shadows of the newly dead descend, entombed with full rites, and the ghosts of those, at last, given proper burial. The wide, thorny waste is cold and pallid, and the newly arrived shades are ignorant of the road that leads to the Stygian city where Black Dis has his cruel palace. As the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place accepts all the souls, and is never too small for any populace, nor notices the crowds that come. There the bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Some crowd the forum, some the house of the ruler of the depths. Others follow their trades, imitating their previous lives and still others incur punishment i hope i have done it justice and now we share a secret it's as if you've lifted a great burden from my shoulders oh, thank you friend i think i should rest okay must admit a lot of that went over my head <laughs> Don't quite know what to do right now. Pandora's box. Lead resolved. Does it lead, lead to anything else? All right. <laughs> that went straight over my head. Oh, damn. All right, so. The stolen plaques. We could listen to some more whispers. Are you gonna guide me? Nope. Any of these golden statues to give us important information. I love your clothes. Thank you. So exotic. Let the buyer beware. Beware of what? We spoke to you yet. Ah, oh, you're here. I'm so glad you decided to visit. I'm Aurelia. And uh, Hello, Aurelia. I hope I'm not being too forward, but the moment I laid eyes on you, Are you flirting I was with me? Intrigued. There's a light in your eyes I've never seen before. A certain learning and sophistication. Oh, very charming. 
Oh, coming on a bit strong, don't you think? <laughs> I take back what I said. Suddenly, I don't find you so intriguing. Oh, I'm anymore. so bad. Let's just forget that ever happened. Slew so talker. we can at least do business. Oh, there's so, not romance in this game, is there? Have I just screwed it up. Ah. Oh. Damn it. I screwed up, haven't I? There's, that could have been a romance. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, well. Not for a few weeks now. <laughs> Last time I saw him, he was sitting at a table with Georgius, whispering about some job. I remember because they kept looking over their shoulders as if they didn't want anyone else to know. So, uh, naturally, I... Of, of course. Be a bit nosy. The one word I kept hearing was vanishing and then vanishing. the next day kabash just disappeared coincidence i think not that is weird all right heard any interesting gossip certainly For i love gossip dinari, i think we have 10 go for have it you met livia yep she used to do my hair until one day she just snapped this place has that effect on people now she just stands around caked in filth muttering nonsense to herself it's a real shame now i have to do my own hair oh <laughs> uh, here's, here's ten more i hear that if maliolus is elected he's gonna throw a small festival Ooh. to celebrate with entertainment and everything can't wait to find out what it is is that why you're voting for him it, wow there used to be a midwife here naivia but this place drove her mad as a menad. Said she could hear the statues whispering to her. Can you imagine? Fortunately for us, she locked herself in the palace weeks ago and hasn't been seen since. Good yeah, riddance. Some of these I say. gossips would be useful Whatever back at the start like. of the game. Um, not so much anymore. They're quite out All of right. date stories, but still. Righty then, let's keep going. Loads of this text. I don't know if we wasn't an archaeologist at the start of the game. I don't believe we can read some of these texts. Yeah, I think that's I think that's how it works. Uh, who knows though? Uh, let's go to the Egyptian plaque. Is what we're working on right now. Let's go and speak to Julius. He's the the farmer. We basically the the first guy we spoke to in the game. Um, is he up here? I bet I've gone the wrong way. Yes, I've gone the wrong way. Look at all these statues. I feel like something is going to go down here at some point in the game. Oh, I'm getting mixed up. Sorry, <laughs> I'm getting mixed up. Whoops. Ah, a fellow traveler from a faraway. Hello. Greetings. I'm Georgius. It gladdens me to see another foreigner in our midst. We must stick together, you and I. I know, I know. You want to know where I'm from, but I really want to ask you some questions. My friend, your words intrigue me more and more. But yes, very well. Ask me what you will. Also, we've already done this, so we're sort of replaying it, if that makes sense. Right. I heard you were the last person to see him. Please share some information. Ah, I knew this day would come. I do not wish to lie to you, my friend, but even discussing this matter is dangerous. Please, let us live the life called safely beneath the ass. Come on, we're foreigners. We need to stick together. Come on. Very well. Yes. But the magistrate would not look kindly upon this, so please okay. keep it to yourself. Got it. For several months now, I have been sneaking out at night to worship the gods of my ancestors in the temple of Demeter. Each day, I leave offerings of food in the hope that we may have a bountiful harvest. And yet the next day, when I return, the food is missing. That is weird. How is that a problem, though? Like, you're putting the food down, someone's taking it. Who cares? <laughs> the offering, it is symbolic, you see. It is never eaten. So I ask, who or what is devouring the food in this temple? Stranger still. Once I sat in front of my shop like the hundred-eyed Argus until dawn to see if I could spot a thief going in. But do you know what I saw? What? I have no idea. Nothing. 
Nobody entered. And yet when I went to take a look, my oh. offering was gone. It is bizarre, is it not? That is weird. When I told my friend Kabas of this at the tavern, he offered to help investigate. He went in, and to my dismay, what? he was never seen again. Oh. That's kind of crazy then. Where is Ecclesi's temple? It is the only Greek temple in the city. Head towards the baths, and it is the last building on your right. Okay, we should go there right away. I do not think you should pursue this, my friend. It would break my heart to be responsible for two people disappearing. But you do not strike me as a kind of person to be deterred by such warnings. I have my so boat. Be Who's careful, fine? I beg you. This is scary, though. This <laughs> is... I don't like where this is going. Something invisible is taking the food. That is weird. Right. I'm guessing it's now open. I'm guessing it was closed before. Oh, the music's changed already. Lovely. A Greek statue, probably of the goddess to whom this temple is dedicated. Perhaps a local Greek resident knows more about her. Maybe. A virus! A beautiful virus! This is really cool little details though. Oh. Hello? A feeling we're not supposed to be in here. Yeah, some really nice little details in this game. Look at that vase, for example. It looks so detailed. For such, again, such a small company. A small development studio to make this. Oh, I hate when it does that. I really do. Got my bow out, though. I'm ready. In case anything attacks us. So what is down here, then? Don't like this one bit. I'm actually getting goosebumps. Why am I getting goosebumps? I literally have no idea what to expect. That's why. I'm scared. Will my golden bow be good enough? I do hate scary games as well. Oh my. What the? There's a guy just standing there. Or sitting there, even. Archaeologist! Ask the old man if he's seen him. Okay, got it. This looks oh, very suspicious. The visitor. Hmm. Suspicious indeed. Welcome, welcome. May I ask your name? I'm Scott. <laughs> it's a sincere pleasure to oh, meet you. I love you. my name in this Tell game. Tell me. What brings you all the way down here? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm actually looking for a plaque as well. That's that's true. I found this place by accident. I'll be honest. Ah, Kabash. I know this man. He came through here some weeks ago. And where is he now? I will tell you everything I know. But first, a request. I have been living down here alone for many years. Why? With nobody to talk to but myself. The one thing I long for above all else before I die is a good philosophical argument with somebody astute. I'm hoping that person is you. Let us find out with this simple question. Have you deduced the name of the god responsible for the golden rule? I believe I have. Pluto, the god of the underworld. Excellent. I see you are indeed quite astute. I am. Very few come to that realization before their time in the sun is over. Now, will you join me in a friendly Socratic dialogue? Um. Okay, yeah. Wonderful. Then let me begin with a question. Would you say you know the difference between right and wrong? I would like to... F I'd like to say yes. I'm not sure. It's a complex question. I'm not sure. You are an overthinker too. We are the same. There we go, see? It's probably why I became a philosopher. But if you struggle with right and wrong normally, then down here with the golden rule, surely your struggle 
can only have become more difficult. It has, to be honest. It really is. Yeah, it is. Well, that's reassuring. And the truth is, you're not alone. You see, out there in the world, being uncertain about right and wrong was acceptable, because our mistakes rarely had consequences. So we would tell lies and bend rules and turn a blind eye and rationalize, and yet still find a way to think of ourselves as good people. But under the golden rule, morality matters. The slightest wrongdoing could result in a mass execution. So to navigate this maze, we would have to be certain about the difference between right and wrong. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. Of course. So let me ask you this. Is there one system of morality which is always perfectly correct? Which you could follow in every situation and always do the right thing? I... Uh, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Are you sure? Or is it possible that humans simply haven't figured out the right system yet? There's so many... So many grey areas. It's, it's not... Black and white, is it? Um... So, is it up to each of us to decide what right and wrong mean to us individually? Or must we simply <sighs> follow the laws and customs both? of whichever <laughs> I don't community know. we're in? We're treading on very uneven ground here. I don't want to get cancelled. Um, <laughs> I want to change my answer. Um... I think we need to decide for ourselves. So if a man feels that stoning to death his unfaithful wife is right, then oh, good point. Is it okay. Right? I agree. But why? Didn't you just say right and wrong depends mm. on the individual? Alright, okay. <sighs> yeah, I would say he's confused or sick. He feels like that's what he should do to his wife. He's lost his mind. I see. So you get to decide right from wrong. The people who say yeah, my brain hurts. are not allowed. <laughs> Let what me end this conversation. Empathy. Yes, the cornerstone of human morality. Empathy? The emotion? Let me ask you this. Imagine you were forced to choose between the death of your beloved spouse and the death of two innocent strangers. Knowing there will be no legal consequences, who would you mark for death? My spouse. No, the two strangers. Of course. Everyone would. Our empathy, like a siren song calling us away from our true path, would lure us toward the greater evil. Can such a beguiling thing be a reliable cornerstone for anything, let alone the perfect moral code? I suppose not. What's your point? I must admit, I'm in a, I'm in a tangle here, guys. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm in tangled up. I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, I think we need laws and we need empathy. All right, I get it. My point is this. I don't think anyone alive truly knows any hard and fast rules about right and wrong. Agree. Fair point. I'm not sure about that. What about do not kill? True. True, true. Surely you would agree there are circumstances where an exception may be made, such as where it is necessary for self-defense or to prevent a greater evil? For any rule, you can imagine there are countless situations in which that's what the golden rule is so suspended. complex, though. Like, and what is right and wrong? Are impossible to codify. What is the golden rule? If there rule? is one thing I have observed about rules, it is that virtuous people do not need them, and evil people will always find a way around them. And so we must accept our limitations. And the sad truth that no human society will ever achieve the utopia for which it strives. In mathematics, we would call it an asymptote. A line that can be approached, but never reached. Agree. Because yeah. the only way to create a utopia is with the ever-present threat of force, such as the golden rule. This and no other is the root from which a tyrant springs when he first appears as a protector. And life under tyranny is no utopia at all. I can agree with that. I 
can agree with that. Yep. I'm glad to hear that. In any case, thank you for humoring an old man. My brain, my brain I'll be hurts. happy to answer your questions. <laughs> I got tangled up there. Absolutely tangled up. Um, so what is your story? You mean, how did I end up living alone in this cave? With exactly. nothing but these relics of the past for company. It's a long story. I'm listening. <laughs> Never mind then. <laughs> I was a quarrelsome young man. Uh... At 19, I left Corinth for Rome to study rhetoric at one of her finest academies. So I could argue more forcefully. Back then, I used to enjoy verbally sparring with everyone I could. What a surprise. And I was good. One night I found myself in a tavern in an argument with a drunk mercenary. It became heated, he drew a gladius, and I won the argument, but lost my life. I woke up on the banks of the Styx at a campfire opposite Karen. Of course, I tried to persuade her to let me return, but even with all my skill, I failed. I settled in, made friends, and learned what I could, quickly realizing our little community faced certain death under the Golden Rule. So I began looking for a place to hide underground. Fortunately, I found this place waiting for me. You see, I was not the first to take refuge here. I returned to my friends above, persuaded them to join me, and twelve of us descended for the last time to live out our days hidden from Hades' tyranny. Why can't you tell me your, your actual name? Why is he keeping that a secret? I fear that if you were to utter my name in the city, even by mistake, that Hades would hear you. And know I am still alive. Hmm. Okay. Do you mean Pluto? They are one and the same. The Romans call him Pluto. But long before that, my people called him Hades. Okay. So you can't return to the surface because you don't want people to find you and say your name. Blah, 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 blah. I guess. My generation was wiped out. Turned to gold many years ago. My friends and I were able to avoid the same fate by hiding down here. I think it's safest to assume that if I was to return, Hades would realize that his furies hadn't finished the job, and he'd send them after me again. Yeah, that would be quite terrifying. Yeah, how have you survived down here? Do you have food? Do you... I guess he has water, but still. Living in darkness is not without its challenges. The first challenge is diet. Fortunately, I found that eating fresh fish provides most of the nutrients I need. And sometimes, when there are Greek people living up above, I surface at night and salvage the offerings they've left in the temple of Demeter. Ah. The greater challenge is the isolation. So I like to imagine arguments, where I argue both sides. But, like so many things in life, arguments are better with a partner. I feel like he quite enjoyed our bit of dialogue. I think so. Uh, where is everyone else? I'm afraid I am the only one left. There were 12 of us in the beginning, but one by one, my friends passed away. Aww. Some from malnutrition, others from madness and despair. It has been lonely. Before my unexpected visit from Kabash some weeks ago, I would not seen another person in many, many years. Yeah, where is Kabash, actually? I completely forgot about that. Got distracted. As you wish. Where is he? Uh, where is Kabash? I will tell you, but you may find him hostile. To prepare for your encounter, there are certain things you must know. Very few know this, but before the Romans came to this city, it was once entirely Greek. The architecture, the temples, and the people. When the Romans came, in typical fashion, they claimed it as their own, built over everything that could be built over, and renamed the things that could not. Thus, the shrine of Persephone became the shrine of Proserpina. And when they found an obelisk bearing the name Hades, they tore it off and replaced it with Pluto instead. 
and the city's dwindling Greek residents, witnessing this compulsive Roman conquest, decided to preserve what they could of their heritage. They gathered their art and valuables, secreted them away through the Temple of Demeter, and hid them here, out of reach of the Romans. And we've so far... What does it, yeah, it have to do with Kabash? I'm getting to that. Oh. <laughs> you see, it was among these old Greek relics that I found the thing you seek. Okay. An even older plaque bearing an Egyptian inscription. What did it say? We had no idea until years later when the first of my friends began to die. As a result of their deaths, we began to dig catacombs branching off from this cavern to lay them to rest. We extended the tunnel so far that we accidentally discovered another, an even older tunnel, which somebody had gone to great lengths to keep hidden. Suddenly it made sense why there was an out-of-place Egyptian plaque among our people's possessions. You see, we proud Greeks had thought the Romans beasts for stealing and corrupting our heritage. But it turns out this game has been going on much longer than any of us imagined. I think it is best you head through the catacombs and follow Kabash's trail. What exactly is in there? There are certain things you must see for yourself. Uh, Take right. this key. You'll need it to open the gate. Oh, lovely. That is a rusty old key, that one. Um, do you know a way out of here? Huh. If I did... Would I be living like this? True, true. <laughs> good point, good point. Did we not discuss it at length already? True. Oh, I see. You're toying with me. I am. I'm, me. I'm toying with you. <laughs> I am. I enjoyed it. It's been fun. All right, I will. Right. Catacombs are that way, apparently. All right, let's get to it. I am terrified about what's going to be in here. Why is my bow not coming out? Uh, don't like this one bit. Oh. Yeah, I wonder if there was romance available in this game and I screwed it up in this episode. <sighs> Can't beat a bit of romance. Oh well. Where are we going right now? Again, I can't seem to get my bow out, which is a little concerning. Whoa, what was that? Oh no. Yeah, I need to get... There we go. Please stop. Oh, what the hell? Terrifying. That's not great. That's not great at all. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to get attacked by mummies. You're kidding me. It's terrifying. Is that one there? Oh, is it gold already? I think it's gold already. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Whoa. I do not like the look of this. I think there's some algae in this water. Or not. Here's something. I don't know what it is. It sounds horrible. <clears throat> what is going on here? An Egyptian plaque which translates The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. That must be the golden rule, surely. 
No. An Egyptian ball game. Is that, is that one moving? Yep, definitely moving. Uh, is it going to try and get up here? It's all about you. Oh, shoot. It's all good. It's all good. This might have actually been the correct way. <laughs> this will, just sort of ended up going this way, but it yeah, I think it's the right way. Surprisingly. Oh, don't like this. At least it just saved for me. Oh! There's somebody there. Hello! Stop! Do not come any closer. Yeah, I found him. Who are you? I am Scott. You first. Uh, I am Kabash. Yes, we found now, him! Your Kabash! Turn. Hmm. And let me guess. Another Greek or Roman come to loot and plunder the resting place of my ancestors. Hmm? Is that why he's a little bit angry? I get it. I get it. I understand. Do I look Greek or Roman to you? Hmm. Trousers, boots, curious hair. No, I suppose you do not. Then what do you want? Hmm. To what end? Uh, I want to return it. Hmm. That is welcome news. You really are not Greek or Roman. Correct. I, I was planning to return it myself. But for now, I must remain. Here, take it and restore the honor oh, of Osiris. That was easy. Okay. You sure? Our first plaque. We did it! That was a little too easy. <laughs> now, as for the other plaque. Oh. The fourth plaque? You know about that? Indeed. I have it right here. I stumbled across a collection of dusty okay. curiosities while searching for a place to hide from the hungry children of Amit, and there it was. May I have it? You may not. Oh. In fact, I am about to destroy what? it. Why? Because it speaks a treacherous, blasphemous lie. What? Are you going to get to the point or what? How so? What do you I mean? I will tell you. But first, do you know what this place is? Oh, my archaeologist insight. Indeed. There we go. And I see you know our history. The correct. This is the Duat. See what has become of it. I have been down here for weeks, piecing together its story. And here is what I have learned. As Egypt declined and the Greeks had their turn to flourish, their souls came here in great numbers. But instead of adopting our ways, they copied and corrupted them. When they found the obelisk bearing the name Osiris, the true god of the underworld, they desecrated it, removing his name and replacing it with <sighs> Hades. Even the ferryman of the dead, known to my people long before as Kerti, they renamed to Keron. As if that desecration was not enough, they built over this place, using it as the foundation for their own underworld, so that ours was forgotten. Hmm, <laughs> my only solace is that the Greeks then suffered the same fate when the Romans rose to power, renaming Hades to Pluto. And this cycle began anew. Why do they do that? Why do they just like... Just keep the Egyptian... They always try and alter the old ways to make them better or to renew them or whatever. That's madness. So what's the problem with this plaque? I can see why you're not very happy about the Greeks or Romans. That does make... Yeah, that is... That does make sense. Um, but what's your problem with this plaque? It is inscribed with a script I do not recognize but it is ancient, almost as if it is older than the plaque bearing Osiris's name. But if that is so, it would imply the gods of Egypt are mere imitations too 
ah. copied and corrupted from an ancient people who prospered even before us. And that my people did to them what the Greeks and Romans okay, so did to us. You want to destroy us. that? But this oh, I cannot on. accept. What? I sense a deception. Perhaps it is the work of Set the usurper, seeking to undermine Osiris once more. So the Egyptians done exactly the same. And you're like, no, no, that didn't happen. <laughs> What's it's contradicting me, honestly? Uh, if you give it to me, I'll destroy it for you. Ooh, tempting. Uh, what does it say? You will never know. Oh, no. This work of sacrilege must be destroyed. Thrown into the black no, abyss no, 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 below no, no, no. in Osiris's name. Please don't, please. <gasps> Stop, I need that. I don't want to say right now. Um, Do it and I will kill you. You are too late. Oh no. It is done. No! You are kidding me. You would plunge into the depths of the Duat with no way back up. <sighs> Madness. I'll find the way back up. Hmm. We shall see. Damn. What an idiot. Ah. Oh. Curse you and curse this place. Whee! I didn't actually kill him. I was <laughs> so this breaks the golden rule, so it's fine. I'll move on. How am I going to get out of here, though? Oh boy. Ah. This is not good. This is not good at all. But we have two two plaques now, is that right? I believe we do. Man, that guy was stubborn. The Greeks and Romans destroyed our heritage, destroyed our history. Oh we did it, but I don't believe it. <laughs> uh one second. That's not fair. Barricades, okay. Yeah, how old is this place? I don't even want to know, to be honest. This place is terrifying. Oh, oh, oh! Shoot! Gee, I thought that was so late. I saw that so late. Uh, I think the place is filling up with water. I might be wrong. Ah. So the boulder was here. How do I get out of here? Gabash is going to be very surprised. Oh, where does this boulder come from? <laughs> I don't know. Uh oh. There it is. There it is. I think we're trying to basically knock down this place with boulders. Coming in. Basically turning this place into the Titanic. Oh, there's another one. There's another boulder. Oh, no. When Ooh. I told you that you would not find a way back up, that was not a prediction. That was a promise. Oh. You will die here. Kabesh, please don't do this. There's no need for this. To end the violence. Get out of my way. Or you'll be the one who dies here. I disagree. Oh. I warn you always against coming violence. down here, against perpetuating this sacrilege. But you persisted. You have undermined and dishonored the true god of the underworld. How did you think this would end, if not with bloodshed? Just hear me out, please. Very well, I will listen. Oh, but here we if go. I All sense right. deception, or if you further insult my gods, I will carry out my threat. So tell me, why should I let you live after you salvaged this instrument of blasphemy? How do you know it's blasphemy? How can you? You're contradicting yourself. If something can be destroyed by the truth, it deserves to be destroyed by the, by the truth. There's no shame in building on works of people who came before you. I'm just trying to replace all the plaques. Okay, yeah, that does make sense. Um, 
Just gonna be honest. Why? To what end? I want to get out of here. I'm hoping I'll earn me an audience with the god of the underworld. But why? What business could you have with Osiris? Um, I'm going to confront them about the golden rule. I'm going to demand that they let everyone go. Blasphemous fool! You have sealed oh, your own fate. <laughs> uh, wait. If you attack me, you'll break the golden rule. <laughs> Good. I welcome it. You see, the philosopher told me that each time it breaks, Osiris bellows with rage, and his voice God, shakes the very fight. foundations of the earth. I can only hope one more tremor will lay waste to this fragile place once and for all, and you along with it. Oh, great. The many shall suffer Run. for the sins <sighs> of the one. Where's the boulder? Run! Is that a ladder? Perfect. Go! Go, 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 go! 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 Another ladder? I am getting out of here. It's the last thing I can do. I'm leaving. Am I going the right way? Please hurry up. I hope I'm going the right way. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. Oh, here we go. Is this the way? Yes, please. Is this the right way? Okay, maybe this is the right way. I hope. Yes. I think it's the exit. I think. Yes, we're out, we're out, we're out. Right. Back to the portal, I think. Please don't wake up. Ow. Run, everybody! Run to the portal! <gasps> Ouch. They actually got me. They actually rarely ever hit me. I just run so quick. <laughs> To sprint. Come on, come on, come on. Had to end in violence, didn't it? Had to. Always does. I'm not very good at getting myself out of situations. That is true. Whew. So we have, is it two plaques out of the four? I think that's right. Wowzers. All right. Oh. I still hate doing that. <laughs> Running for the portal. It's horrible. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like on the video. Can we find more of these plaques? I hope so. See you guys soon. Thank you guys for watching. And bye-bye.